So I watched uh, a few days ago. I watched Alien Ramulus for the first time, and in preparation for watching Alien Ramulus, I've had watched all the other um, Alien movies uh, um, except Prometheus and Alien Covenant. I still have to watch those, but I watched all the main ones. And uh, if you want to check them, if you want to check what I think of them, you can go to my letter box down in the description below. But anyways, um, I thought Alien Romulus right now is, in my opinion, the best looking movie of 2024. Everything, when it comes to the set and the lighting, it just looks so atmospheric. It's like you're in, it's like you're literally in one of the old movies or in like a, an amusement park. It really sucks you in and brings to tone what kind of things you're expecting. There is a lot of easter eggs to the old movies, a lot of callbacks, some obvious ones, some not so obvious. There's easter eggs to Prometheus and the Covenant series and even Alien Isolation which is the Alien video game. And um, a little fun fact that I learned about this movie is that is that before is that in Alien Isolation um, I've never personally played the game but I heard this from someone else that when you're about to encounter something that could kill you or you're about, about to ex uh, encounter a boss there's gonna be a low emergency save before you reach to the next level and in the movie they have those little emergency checkpoints as easter eggs in the background and when you see those in the movie you know something's about to happen in the movie but i like the character um i like the character of rain i think that was her ma the main character's name and i like i do like the android the other characters they're okay they're definitely just to be killed off i didn't really really i didn't really care about them but it, I was still intrigued to see how they would get out of the situations they got in, and uh, how they would how they would die. I guess the the aliens in here look so good. They did a really good job. You can watch videos of behind the scenes of them doing the animatronics and the puppeteering for the um, aliens. Because even the newborn at the end. That looked CGI in the movie, but it turns out that was a real costume they made, a real animatronic. And they had, I think they had a tall skinny basketball player be like the motion, I think do like the motion capture. I could be wrong, but that's what I, that's what I've seen. Um, I do like, even though I haven't seen Prometheus, I do know about the lore and what happens in the movie. I do like that they... Uh, tie back the the genetic enchanter that they put in Isabella Merced which is what happens which is what gets her to, to release the newborn out of her um I, I really liked I thought the the action scenes were cool um you get a little bit of everything in this movie, to the scariness of the first aliens, to the action scenes of aliens, and uh, like I mentioned earlier, the tiebacks to Prometheus and Covenant. Um, I, I do want to talk about the other android that is present in this movie, called Rooker. He is a clear. Um, replica of Ash who was in the original Alien movie and he's obviously a callback to um, Alien to tie it all back together but I do think he gets a considerate amount of screen time he gets way more screen time than I think he's needed he becomes a main plot point like like he's not really a main character um, he's not really a cameo because it extends to a further like a side character at that point because at one point he kind of becomes like a threat to the rest of the the group in the movie the people we follow and I think 
I think bringing it, I, I I saw this I saw this somewhere else. Someone pointed it out, but I think um I I remember who it was now. Chris Duckman. If you've seen Chris Duckman's review on Alien Alien Romulus, he pointed out that. Uh, bringing in David from Prometheus, even if it's not the real David, a replica, another android, bring in Michael Fassbender, I think that would have been really cool. Um, but yeah, you know, this movie was really good. Um, when, when I saw the trailer back in, um, I think it was March, um, I saw the, tra the teaser trailer, that really got me excited, and, uh, even though I wasn't an Alien fan be before, I, I am now, now that I've seen pretty much all the movies. But the, the teaser trailer is what got me into starting this YouTube channel, actually. I was like, man, I wish I really, I w I wish I really had someone to talk to about like, trailers and movies and stuff. You know, I, I also watch 3C Films. He's a big inspiration to me, too. Um, started watching his videos a while ago, a long time ago, and it's because of him just watching it. I started a video. I started a YouTube channel, so now I make these little stupid, silly videos for myself and anyone who comes across them. But this is kind of uh, off-topic from the Alien review. But um, yeah, I really liked it. If it's been out for two weeks and if you still haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. You don't have to watch any other Alien movie, really. I think that's a good thing. You don't really have to watch an, any alien movie in preparation for um, for this one. Because this one works as a self-contained story. And uh, But if you do watch the other ones, then you'll have fun trying to find all the easter eggs, callbacks. Um, I think at the end, there is a sequel. There is a sequel kind of teased. Um, and like I said in my letterbox review, if they do... To, if they do... If they do do a sequel I wouldn't mind it I would welcome it I would watch it because it's more alien content the xenomorphs are always gonna be cool um, other aliens would be really cool too like the newborn whether it's the newborn in this movie or the newborn in alien resurrection or even like even the white aliens from from Prometheus like the engineer and the, the other morphs but yeah it's like it's like you like really feel like like Fede Alvarez did such a really good job with this movie. You can really tell he pulled off passion in this movie. But um, I'm just kind of rambling now. I think that if you love aliens, I think you would really love this movie. I know there's um, people that don't like nostalgia callbacks and stuff, but I really think this works on its own as a movie. Uh, I know I went off a tangent with uh, YouTube channels, blah blah blah, but this is my alien review. I think you should definitely watch it. If you want more reviews, give it a like, subscribe, comment. I am planning to watch uh, Beetlejuice later today, later today, uh, later this week, and I think by the time I get to Beetlejuice, this video will be posted in. There's a lot of movies coming out in September that I'm excited to see. There's Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, uh, uh, Transformers 1. Um, what else was there? I'm looking at my, like, my, uh, uh, I think that's it. I don't, I don't know. Uh, there's that uh, Superman Christopher Reeves documentary. It looks cool. Uh, uh, now I'm just kind of padding out the runtime of this video. Anyways, um, I'm gonna let you guys go. This is, uh, peace out, guys.